Hey everyone, the customization update for Battlefront 2 is just around the corner. But what kind of skins and cosmetics will we be able to purchase with our hard earned credits, or purchase credits, depending on which road you want to go down? In this video, we will look at some of the skins that are likely to be on their way, and I'll tell you how you can get involved and make some suggestions of your own. Now please remember that these skins are not confirmed, announced, or leaked yet, and this is speculation. So don't get mad at me for clickbait, you were warned, both in the thumbnail and the title. That being said, I think it is highly likely that we will be seeing some, if not all of these skins in the future. I am Ascendance, and this is 4FS Gaming. Before we get started, I would absolutely love it if you guys came and joined our community over on Discord, the link is in the description below. So, about a month ago, the design director of Battlefront 2 told the community that we should come up with a list of cosmetics that we want in the game, and that seems like a pretty good step in the right direction, allowing the players some degree of control over what they want. In response to this, the Battlefront Reddit votes each week to request three skins, and each week the community manager acknowledges that they have seen these requests. This makes it very likely that some if not all of the skins will make it into the game, maybe not immediately when the update drops, as these suggestions are pretty recent and it does take time to develop character models, but some of them are quite simple and should be straightforward to implement. So here we go, a quick look at some of the top voted skins by the community that are likely to be implemented in the future. First up we have Revenge of the Sith Palpatine, with that great purple maroon cloak thing. He could have the hood up or down, or a normal face or a mutilated face. Then we have Chewbacca, but carrying a disassembled C-3PO. Now I think this is one of the more nice and creative ones because there are not many skins you could think of for Chewbacca, simply because he doesn't wear many clothes. So this is a great idea, it would even be better and pretty funny if there were some voice lines from 3PO while fighting. Next on the list is Princess Leia from A New Hope, wearing that iconic white dress, it's not exactly suitable to a battlefront, but it is a pretty central look for her character. Another skin from A New Hope is Luke in his Yavin clothes, at this point he would also have the blue lightsaber instead of the green one. And of course another skin for Luke that was suggested was Sequel Trilogy Luke, complete with his scruffy beard. One of my favourite suggestions on this list is the Galactic Marine Trooper, as seen on Mygito during Revenge of the Sith, or in 2005 Star Wars Battlefront 2 as a clone commander. This could fit as a skin for officers or even heavies, although if DICE really wanted to go the extra mile, they could always turn it into a reinforcement class, although I wouldn't get my hopes up on that too much. Another trooper suggestion that made the top 3 one week was the clone scout trooper that we saw on Kashyyyk during Revenge of the Sith, before Yoda decapitates them of course. Now for some more villain skins, there were suggestions for variations on Maul where he had a hood on, as seen on Tatooine, or a masked variant of Kylo Ren without any hood at all. Now these have all been seen by the team at DICE, and I am confident that they are looking into some if not all of these top requests for future implementation. Now my confidence in the implementation of these skins comes from the fact that EA and DICE at the end of the day are companies that want to turn over a profit, and the best way to do that is through microtransactions that they're going to be bringing back into the game. They want people to buy their skins, so of course they're going to want to implement skins that people want to buy. If these are the ones that are suggested, then people are going to want to buy them, and therefore they are going to want to be sold by DICE, and as such they have to be in the game to sell them. So that's what I'm banking on with these predictions. Now this is an ongoing thread on Reddit, and I'll link it below in the description so that you can head over there and make your voice heard as well. Keep saving up those credits, and I think we'll have a fair bit to spend them on come next week. Coming soon to 4FS Gaming are some more tips for Starfighter Assault, and an in-depth look at a few more heroes, so please hit that subscribe button to stay connected, and help us to reach that 10k benchmark. We are almost there guys, and as always, thank you so much for watching.